teleprompter app. So. I'll start off, um, so now we're not going to go over it, as you can see with our resumes, uh, what, what I bring to the table or what I've done, vice versa. So I'm just going to go right into the platform. And the basic idea is what I would do if I was elected. So. So I'm just going to start off the first thing is the, uh, how I view the structure of uh, FMG. So basically if you have one president, um, basically you have a president and then you're looking at a five, a five vice president team and a treasury. So treasury is just basically a VP of finance. That gives a total of seven, uh, seven people on your VP and president team. So basically as we had in one of our last uh, meetings, we actually had the VPs all vote and the president. And if we have it set up so there's an odd number of individuals, then it will actually kind of give us an advantage so we can kind of move forward without bringing the whole club together for a vote. So it would basically, you know, four versus three, two versus five, at least every issue you can kind of just move forward and it keeps a little bit more of a democratic society. And then the next thing um, I want to touch on is how we're doing market research right now. So I mean, we'll still have somebody, we should still have somebody who's basically in charge of market research per se, but I feel that we should all be chipping in. As all of us are finance students, we should be reading Bloomberg, uh, Financial Post, Wall Street Journal. Those are the current issues that everybody should be keeping up on. I mean, that's part of being a finance student. I mean, this is something that we're interested in. So, I mean, there's no point that one person has to just do all this work or just a couple people on the consultant team. I think it's important that everybody kind of chips in and basically, you know, gives a market update, reads a, a, a current story, and adds value in that, in that aspect. And I mean, that's the way we should go forward with market research. Now with events, I actually agree with the, uh, some of the other candidates, is we've got to keep our events kind of consolidated on the way. We don't need to bring in a large number of extra events, stick to the stuff we know, stuff like CI, maybe bring back the CIF, which I feel is, would be kind of an interesting thing to have, continue with the careers in finance, and go forward again with the finance networking night, which is going to happen on March 28th. If everybody wasn't aware of that, it's going to happen March 28th. Um, and then it's just bringing in maybe events that will actually bring value to the student body. So, for example, maybe do something similar to what they do up in the trading lab, like Oliver will run stuff for Capital IQs or uh, kind of Bloomberg to show up, but basically market it out so people can learn how to use those before they go into, uh, uh, I guess, Finance 447 is a good example of Dr. Gordon Sick. If I would have known how to do a DCF or what kind of a DCF was on Excel, I feel that would have been much more of an advantage and just coming out with Finance 317, walking in, think you know everything on cap and you don't know anything, so. Uh, with the CPM team members, and especially a lot of the students, they look like Brian, who's had, you know, uh, times in Macquarie, or people who've had good work experience. I think those are the kind of people that we need to use and utilize to actually teach the student body and maybe give an incentive, but it will really, you know, bring that, it gives that extra value for students knowing that they're actually going to learn something that's actually legitimate. And the last kind of thing that I want to touch on from that part is an open door policy for students. So instead of having a tutorial, you know, after for Finance 317 stuff or vice versa, Finance 443, basically an open door policy at our club. So people can come in and they don't feel scared to ask us, like we're going to get mad that they don't know what finance is or they don't know how to do things. And basically we're willing just to jump on and help them out at that point. So um, the hiring process, I believe, is we definitely have to continue with the interviews. I feel that anybody that comes along as a consultant, potential director from, a, from the external, is we definitely have to do formal interviews with finding out if they'll definitely fit, not just in the aspect that they want to give back to the club, but they will bring something and they'll kind of gel. You know, you want to have a team based on interviews that are kind of like, it's like a first date. You want to make sure that it's going to mix, because if it doesn't, like, you know, you're definitely not going to be dating that person. Kind of that kind of aspect. <coughs> and as for uh, elections, I mean, I'm sure it's already been touched on, but it would be the same idea for the VPs or anybody who wants to step up to the plate. Kind of look at uh, early April is when I think would be the best time to go about that. I think uh, another point that needs to be brought up is the Constitution. I feel that we don't have a, like a full-fledged Constitution. And we don't have to have something like us, or we don't have to have something like some of the other clubs where it's so intense. But just to outline small little things, like to keep stuff in check, um, 
you know, for instance, if we have uh, the BP of finance or treasury, if that uh, becomes what it is, basically you have a, a full authority for the treasury to sign off checks for everybody but themselves, and then vice versa, the president can sign off only for the BP of finance. It's just going to create, because right now we have a lack of segregation of duty, and that will just help out so nobody gets in trouble, nobody's fighting, and kind of just moves along smoothly. Now, to do with, as was mentioned before, is the Khan Academy videos. So it's the same kind of uh, idea where we basically set up tutorial, like online tutorials, and we basically go through the different finance questions and <coughs> basically make it able so you know kids don't have to come to our tutorials. They can do the package, but they can also see how to do it, and maybe a little bit of like a couple useful tricks, I guess, is the best way. Because I mean, everybody knows how to use the TVM, or you will be learning how to use the TVM, and you'll learn that you have to punch it in. But there is ways to do it in a calculus format or we can even show maybe in an Excel format. Now, to get the academic package probably to where we want it to be, I think we really need to focus on working with Peggy or, and Larry, as they did mention earlier in the year, or later in the year, I guess, that they would actually be willing to talk to us. And I know as being part of um, FNG for a while, we always kind of thought that that was you know, frowned upon and we would never get that kind of relationship. And I think if we can really work on that relationship and get them to overview that and take a strive in that, I think not only do we, we can even look at um, lowering the price of our package, but it'll just give us a persona that our package is worth so much more. And last thing I kind of want to touch on is uh, just like team bonding and team building. And I find it's not just important to treat it like an academic club where we're going to do work, 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 and basically we're going to we're not going to have any fun, like per se. It doesn't mean that we have to go out and have our name on um, events where we are actually, you know, supporting alcohol uh, consumption or or uh, partying. But we need to go out as a group. Maybe we all work together, and you know, for instance, we all work together on Khan Academy, and we all get uh, it all done at once. And say we all get, you know, a couple of us work together, and we get we book up a room for three hours, and we kind of get this whole thing you know, up in the air, and then after that, everybody's willing to take a little bit of their own money and go out for beers. You can have a, and if you don't drink, you can have a, you know, a Coke, and that kind of go from there. So that's basically where my platform and where I stand on uh, what I want to do if I'm elected.